this, he said, this is the third time she has the dream. He said, mm. the first time he has the dream, he, he, he hunts chasing them. Then the second one is a big river. The river don't have ending. But he said, all is God in saving her. God save her from this. The, the third time God save her from this thing. So we are begging her to, to, because we know her so much. We are begging her to close to God. Please, we are begging her from, since last night up to this time. Since uh, Alima told me about this, Mama, me too, I'm just pissed off. I don't even do, know, know what to do. I'm just cold by, inside me. Mm. I miss you. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that's a typical, classical example of the mercy of God. Amen. Amen. Because somebody is praying in the family. That's why I was telling yesterday after prayer at eight, I was telling Madame Ta. Mm. I said we we have a role, a responsibility to pray, and that it will answer the way he sees he sees fit. Some of them you might think that they haven't they haven't repented. They have, or they don't. Your prayer has reach heaven on their behalf and heaven has done something. You may have to do something. One of the things I have, even with my children, I was told them, I said, if one thing I have covenanted with the father is that I will be a wonderful parent. Not talking about a perfect parent, but a wonderful. Even my spiritual mm -hmm. children, I will teach you, I will pray for you, I will correct you. I will be there. That's my, my responsibility. Alimatu has been praying for our family. And even this week, we have almost every time we come here, we're praying for our families. And when we're praying this afternoon, I could hear somebody say, we've been praying this prayer point for too long. And I was going to rest. <laughs> You're dealing with unbelievers. Their hearts are still hardened. Mm -hmm. They might want to believe and give their heart and the enemy would tell them a lie. And that mm -hmm. lie will overcome. We have to pray unto the cross that line. The Bible says he snatched us out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. It's a snatch. Until somebody is snatched, it doesn't matter what you say. The enemy can blow the thing off real quick. Look at Mark chapter 4, the parable of the sower. The word was sown in the heart of a believer. The enemy still took it away. How about an unbeliever? That's why you don't stop praying for souls. Hmm. You don't. It's not something you say, okay, I've prayed enough. There's nothing like that for salvation. You're not dealing with yourself. If it's you, you see, you have faith, you've got a word, you pray, that's it. That he will do it. You just need to believe and then do your faith fertilizers. You do your fertilizers. And when you do your fertilizers, you know it will come to pass. But if you're dealing with other people or you're dealing especially with people that are not yet born again, mm -hmm. you don't stop. Now, this is where your peace will be. Because if you don't pray, yeah. when you go to heaven, yeah. you, yeah. even if yeah. before you go to heaven, yeah. you're feeling guilty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. True. 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 When true. you have the opportunity to talk, you talk. Yeah. When true. you do that, first of all, that's your, your kingdom responsibility, number one. Number right. two, right. for your conscience sake, let's not hide this thing. If they go to hell, you will not not be happy they went to hell. Hmm. <sighs> I got a strange vision. After prayer, I usually don't go to bed. But daddy has been talking. Both daddies, my husband and the, the Lord. No, my husband first, then the Lord. Not that I didn't know. I knew that I needed some rest. So I went to bed and I got a vision. It's not time to share yet. But I can tell you all, it's, it's, it's close. It's very close. <laughs> The vision I saw, I, 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 go, I don't even, nobody, there was nobody in the revelation. Everybody saw the same vision. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw it. Okay, that is a share. In the, in the revelation, we're just walking. And I believe the whole world, or those whose eyes were open, saw it. It is currently written in the heavens. It is time. Ah. It first mm. appear in Arabic. Mm. Oh, now I see why. Okay, mm. okay. 
okay, okay. This, uh, um, Alimatu, you had to share this before I say what I'm about to say. It, it now you see the sequence. It first mm -hmm. appeared in, in something like Arabic. No, not Arabic. Um, Israelites, they write in what? Arabic? Hebrew? Whatever. Hebrew. They, they, that language first appeared. And we were looking, I'm like, what are they got? This is a, this is a, a, in the vision I'm saying, this is a, a global message. Why is it in Arabic? Not everybody, not Arabic, that language. Not everybody reads that. And then is it Arame? Arame uh -huh. is that one? I don't even know. Don't you write from, from right to left? <laughs> so, no, it's Arabic. Okay. No, it's not Arabic. It's not Arabic. It's not okay. Arabic. Arabic. It's not Arabic. It's not Arabic or Arabic. Arabic comes to Arabic from, right right right. from left to right. It comes to, because now let me see what I'm saying that, Amy, because after that one disappeared, it came in Arabic. Jesus. So that, ah. the word came in Arabic, and I'm looking, I, I took my face over, I say, well, because I've said it in this family, it's only one solution. Be prepared. Doesn't matter what happened. But the enemy is a master. He's a master in this thing. He will cause you to be distracted. Remember about the spill? We were talking about the spill yesterday. He will cause things around you to spill. So instead of you being focused, you'll be, you'll be looking at what he's doing. You'll be distracted. And you, the Lord will come. Remember the rapture is not going to be for every child of God. No. Mm -hmm. It's going to be for those who are ready. Yeah. There are so many scriptures to prove that these things, they does the thing with Papa God. I'm like, Papa God, you are too much. He's not, he doesn't hide anything. He's right there. The, the, the five and the foolish, the five wise and foolish virgin, they are all virgin. They are all born again. The door will be short because we're going for the feast, the marriage. I wanted to show us in John chapter 17. Human beings are not made for heaven. Why are we going for a marriage? Let me show you how good Jesus is. John 17, I'll come back. I know I stopped her, but I'll come back to the vision. John 17 from verse 16. Uh, um, verse 15 into 17. No, that's, that's too long. That's too long. Let me look for a place that is shorter. Verse 27. John 17, 27. I have to make it. John 17, 20, not 27. 24. John 17, 24. Oh, yeah. You can pull it from different translations. He says, Father, I desire that they also, whom you've given me, be with me where I am that they may see my glory, which you have given me. For you loved me before the creation of the world. Now, it, it's, it's, it's very straightforward. Human beings don't stay in heaven. We should not be there. We go there because Jesus wanted us to be there. That's why the rapture is when that prayer is answered. We go for the wedding. We go for the time to be with Jesus. And then... That's not the end of the world. That's not the second coming, even. Hmm. These things are easy. One of the things I pray, everybody, listen to Pastor Fritz. He's breaking it down. Major voices are focusing on teaching us to know the times and the season because a lot of people don't know that it's closed. And you think, but Alimato asked the question during the 8 um, p.m. prayer yesterday. She said, um, the Bible says we, should, we will not know. How is it that people are knowing? He didn't say we will not know the, the, the time, the area, the month, or the year. He said the day and the time. Mm -hmm. It's straightforward. The day and the time. But he's told uh, Daniel, the book of Daniel is right here. It gives you the months. It gives you the seasons. It's closed. And I even asked us, I sent a video on the platform, Pastor Greg Stephen was teaching at EMIC, and he stopped. And he said, let me show you something. And he gave a little timeline and showed us that the calculation falls on 2020. We're not saying he must come in 2020, but that's where the calculation fell. God is God. If it's 2020 and he wants to, because listen, no matter what God plans, if we don't participate with him, it prolongs. The rapture is destined to be this year from all the calculations. That's why we're in prayer. That's why people are praying. When he told Abraham, he made the covenant, he said, your children will be in, Israel, in Egypt. 
for 40 years. There was nobody to stand. Moses was in the bush, having fun with his wife and having children. He had to turn to the Lord because the burning bush is not anything that you can see the burning bush. The effect of the burning bush is not the fact that he saw the bush. It was the fact that he turned. We're talking about you leaving our focus from distractions and focusing on the Lord, turning away from things that are distracting and focusing on him. Then we will be those agents. Now, sister, Alimatu's sister cannot go to hell because she's been praying. Number two, if she choose to go to hell, she can never say they didn't tell her. Somebody told her. Somebody prayed for her. Oh it's very clear. The Bible says there that Jesus prayed this prayer. So we'll go there. And then we'll come back. The second coming. What the Bible called the second coming. is when we're coming to come take those who were left behind. But not every child of God is going. They're not. It's right there. The five foolish virgins. They are virgins. They have to go for the wedding, but they will not because their oil is small. They are distracted. The biggest story with that vision is distraction. They are looking at other things instead of focusing on the coming. Remember, don't forget, go back and read it, Matthew 25. So you cry. What are some of the things that will keep people from going from the rapture? Little things, tiny things. It's not going to be big. Things that have made you not to, to be and not to feel the, the presence and the power of God. We saw it yesterday at 8 o'clock that it is those that are in light, children of God that are focusing and running with every instruction that will not miss the rapture. That's why I asked Alimatu, because the Alimatu, we were almost finishing. Alimatu asked a question at the end and we took almost 10 to 15 minutes, maybe even 20, just to, uh, 20 minutes, I think they just back to show her from the scriptures. These things are not made up. They are not. When you watch the way things are done, they are adding up. You know they are not made up. Nobody can make things up this clean and, and very pure. I'm not moved because I have prayed. I've prayed for everyone I know how to pray for. And I'm still praying until that last minute. We don't give up praying. So when I saw the first, the first um, writing that came up, then the second writing was in Arabic. I mean, this vision I'm telling you is less than two hours ago. The next writing was in English. The king is about to come. Are you ready? It was just in the sky. Mm. It's not mm. because I was thinking. It was not because I was thinking. It was right there in the sky. It had some little black thing in the middle and the world were around it. So you can see, I believe the black thing was to amplify it. Uh, um, what was being written the first thing you want to do is not to be afraid because a lot of people when you hear things like this you get afraid it's not being afraid it's being ready there's no two solution i've been saying it for more than a week be ready and you get ready by intimacy look at what just happened in the world that's telling you that it is true suddenly you will come you don't want to stay here with the Antichrist. Some people say, okay, but the Bible says on children, the children of God will be here during the... No, it's those that are left behind. They are the ones that will go through the torment of the Antichrist. And the Lord will have mercy and will shorten the time and will come get them, fight the Antichrist, win the Antichrist. Somebody like this, Ima, how do you know these things in your Bible? Read them. And if you have never studied, Pastor Chris is teaching it, look for love world. Uh, um, this, the, the, he's been teaching it the whole week and God is merciful to us that they didn't pull the videos down and last night I also made mention of the fact that this is being taught at DBI but it's not as detailed as Pastor Chris because I have a focus DBI has a focus to give you material you can run with but he's teaching the whole thing I encourage everyone to listen he's going to very in-depth but he's very not political so when he comes to the political part he skips them which is fine but you get to know what you need to know as a child of God. And guess what? The way he ends every session is the same way we teach Adivia. Adivia will teach, it will sound scary, whatever you learn. If it, if some people will be scary, some people it's a movie, some people they like it, some people they are afraid. I end up by saying, it doesn't matter what you feel or think. The solution is one. The purpose of this class is to prepare you for the second coming. Therefore, no matter the knowledge you gain, be ready. No matter the signs, be ready. 
that's the same thing Pastor Chris would tell us. And you get ready in prayer. You get ready in the word. You get ready by telling other people, sponsoring evangelism and sending evangelists and missionaries to tell of this gospel. This world is, is like a play. It's been role played already. We know the end. Somebody say you do? Yes, Revelation <laughs> tells you the end. Mm -hmm. There's nothing hidden. No. Honestly, there's nothing hidden. It's just that the enemy has blinded the eyes of people or he's caused us to focus and measure on the minor. Mm. All right, Sister Julianne. Yes, now, mommy. You, any question? Is it a question? No. Uh, is is it's a scripture in the Bible in regards of um in regard of the um the, the rapture is in Mark thirteen thirty two. Mark thirteen thirty two. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to it. Mark 13, 32. I'm writing the scripture. Somebody's sitting there and you're not writing them. And tomorrow you'll be asking for Are you serious? <laughs> Take down the scriptures and study for yourself and kill fear. It should make you rejoice. Ah, he's in charge. That you know all of this. That's what it is. Mark 13. Yes, um, 32. 32. Where do we read? What version? Um, NLT. Okay. Yeah, I, I, just a word stood out. It says in there, um, however, no one knows the day or hour when these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the son himself. Only mm -hmm. the father knows. Mm -hmm. Wow. You see that? He always talks about the day or the hour. Mm -hmm. Forget that. That's a key thing. That's what we looked at yesterday. Yeah, because there's some people tell you, "Oh, shut up! Nobody knows when it's coming." They know the mm -hmm. seasons, they know the signs. And even if you listen to the video that I sent, Pastor Greg went as far as showing, you know, please don't don't, uh, don't feel bad, don't lie to yourself. God's calendar is Israel. You like mm -hmm. them or you hate them, it doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. It's Israel, and they are seeing the signs. You heard in that video, Pastor Greg said, they say, ah, it looks like the, 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 the divinic, because Jesus came in the line of the, of the kingship line of David. He said, looking at events, the divinic kingship is at the door. I'm not one of those who, if, if most of the time, if anything is happening in my dream, it's a vision. I don't go to bed. I, I walk really hard by the grace of God. When I go to bed, I sleep. I rest. I don't dream like everybody just dream, dream. No. If daddy come into yeah, if daddy comes into there, he's showing me something. That's why if I get up from bed and I sense that something happened like a dream, I have to stop praying in tongues. I need to know what the message is about. Mm -hmm. This this one, this it was this morning, very, very early this morning, because I went back to bed around 8 a.m. And I said I wanted to just rest for an hour. I wanted to rest for an hour. I take the just back. I wanted to rest for an hour, and then I rested, and that happened. That was not the only thing that happened, but that's the one that pertains to this discussion we're talking about. So the, the day, the season is not hidden. It is the, the, the hour, is, we look at it lengthy, I don't want to go back to that. I wish we could have recorded. Did we? It looks like we did. It looks like we recorded. It should be our check. However, no one knows the day or the hour. Don't miss that. The Bible is not, this one is English. When these things will happen, not even the angels in heaven or the sun. This scripture is all over the Bible, this particular verse. All over. This verse is about six or seven different places. Mm. Now, listen to verse 33. Don't miss it. Mm -hmm. Read verse 33. Yes, ma'am. And since you don't know when that time will come, be on your guard. Stay alert. Hmm. Isn't that what Miss Emma has been saying the whole week? Mm -hmm. I think we should even read further than that. There's so much more. <laughs> this yes. verse. Mark mm. 13 is loaded. Yes. It's, it's right there, the New Living Translation. So Jesus speaks about the future. Now, when you finish from here, listen to it, read it. Know these things for yourself. Mark 13, 
mm-hmm. put it on your timeline, put it on your Facebook, pick portion of it and put it there or ask everyone that follows you. Say, please, I ask that you read Mark 13 to get an understanding of the time and the season. Mm. The only difference is when you're reading, sometimes you will read the second coming and think that is the rapture. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you read the rapture and think <laughs> it's the second coming. You need to be able to know the difference. Yes, that's true. Yes, it's very important. All right. And it said, you won't know when the time will come. Be on your guard. The coming of the Son of Man will be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. When he left home, he gave each of his seven instructions about work. I mean, that's the thing. I, I always say it. I said, these, these things are out there. If you want to know, you'll know. And anyway, that was it. Any questions? Thank you, Sister Julian. Thank you. Yes, come on, Ma. You're welcome. Yes. Sister Lima. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The scripture that you asked me. Mm-hmm. It's um, First Thessalonians five one to three one to three of it. First Thessalonians five one to three. That's a scripture she got yesterday, and she he was clear that it's about the time. And you you see that Sister Alima, you see that that scripture ties with Mark thirteen. Mm-hmm. So these things are not made up. They are not. Don't respond with fear. If you respond with fear, you miss the whole purpose. <sighs> respond according to the word. He said, don't be afraid. That's Jesus speaking. Don't be afraid. Be alert. Meaning what? Stay in the word. Stay in fellowship. And since you don't know when, that time will come. Be on your guard. Stay alert. It's right there. As a matter of fact, me, I'm putting that on my timeline. Mommy, I just wanted to say, because I was just thinking, just deep thinking with me. Ooh, is it the... the just, take out the just. Oof. Okay, sorry, sorry. You said about <laughs> not just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was thinking, is it the process that people are afraid of to go through? Because everybody want to meet you know, daddy, and <laughs> like I said, rapture should be something, and the, like it, that. Uh, what was the definition I gave again? Um, a feeling of intense pleasure of joy. Uh-huh. So, is it is it the, the the process to go through? Is that what? Because even when you look at um, um like the video, you see people like scared and stuff like. So, is it just like our human flesh kicked in and bring that fear? What what is it? Um, I, I think mm-hmm. that's a question that people can answer individually. But if I attempt an answer, yes. it will be one ignorance. That will be the okay. first one. Ignorance. Okay. Number two, it will be um, it, which is which is still ignorant because the truth is, uh, um, it, there's nothing on this planet, and I'm yes. telling you yes. that can can compare to heaven. Mm, mm, mm. You're cute children your cute husband your beautiful wife what is it your house oh i'm just feeling like i'll miss them did you hear that vision that vision is on time Mm -hmm. hell is graphic nobody will help you in hell you can say no i I like my husband so much we'll just make it to hell (laughs) (laughs) in hell (laughs) my wife my wife yeah. the first thing that happened to me. I'm going to hell with my wife. <laughs> my dear people be mistaken that they have given their heart to the Lord and will make it to heaven. Why you go to hell? <laughs> There's nothing uh, worth hmm. going to hell for. That's the truth. Yes. So I think it's ignorant. That's my take. Anybody, what's your take on that? Mm-hmm. Anybody talk, put your hands up and then talk. That that's the way we do it, so we are not everywhere else. Mm-hmm. with disciplined people anybody why are people are afraid of the rapture please talk why are you all laughing in the back <laughs> i'm not calling you anybody's name because by the time they call your name now you're sending mama a text and explaining yes mama to you go ahead uh, me i'm not afraid if you're afraid it's because you're not prepared 
So right. if you're prepared, right. why will you be afraid? I mean, I'm excited about it. You mean? So, you those mean. who are afraid is maybe they are not prepared or they, they don't know what it takes to be prepared. Prepare, okay. So uh, I could be, I don't know where. Yeah, thank yeah. you. That is intense. Did you hear that? She just spilled yes. the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Have mercy on us or on them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. If you're not prepared, you'll be scared. Yeah. When you're prepared, you will not be scared. That is so good. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Let me check the hands. Yes. Mama Scott. Yes, Mama. Good morning, Bill. No, good afternoon, Bill. Nation. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think people, they don't have enough knowledge of what the rapture mm -hmm. is, the second coming. They don't have enough knowledge. And then the second thing, it's fear of um, losing their loved one to hell. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. See the because last point. The, uh, their fear of losing their loved one because they, they know they oh. have shared the gospel with them for so many mm -hmm. times and they keep rejecting mm -hmm. it. So it's mm -hmm. just fear for their loved one. Because even mm -hmm. for me, sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, if Jesus would come today, it would be really good. But then when I think back, think mm -hmm. of my other relative friends who are ignorant of the truth, it kind of mm -hmm. like, oh, Jesus, give them some more time. So that's, that's what I think. Daddy should give them more time. No, no, I'm saying. No, I'm asking. No, no, no. I wasn't saying you're wrong. No, I wasn't. You always say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, anyway, I understand what you mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's just it. That's, 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 that's that my thought. That is, I'm looking. Daddy has made sure that they hear. If they yes. don't, yes. if they don't. Yeah. Hmm. I, I remember that when I just got saved. And yes. I, I, I didn't have much knowledge about the Holy Spirit. But I was just on so much fire, just burning fire for daddy. So I remember I went to Jamaica. And then because I knew, um, so like my sisters, my cousin, which is Deacon Mack and his wife, they're all in the church. They got saved mm -hmm. maybe like 10 years before I did. But then when I move here now and I realized that what they have is not the right thing because they have religion and they thought that was the truth and that wasn't it. So mm -hmm. I was just on fire. I'm like, daddy, not just, I was on fire. I said, daddy has mm -hmm. to, when I go to Jamaica, I have to tell them the truth. I don't know if they're going to believe me because they were more believing in the long dress and natural hair and all of that. So I said, I have to tell them the truth. That's not it. So when on my way to Jamaica, Deacon Mac, he was the one who came and got me from the airport. So as I was going in the car and I was talking to him, suddenly he just started crying. He started weeping. So I said, what is it? He says the truth because he called me Georgia. That's my pet name. It's the truth. It's the truth. What are you telling me? He just says he felt the presence of God just come in the car. I didn't know how, what the presence of God felt like, but he felt it. So he said, mm. yeah, this is the truth, this is the truth. So daddy already prepared them. So mm -hmm. listen to her, not because she or here is patient wearing jewelry and hair extension. That is not it. So daddy already prepared them for, for me coming to let them know the truth. So every night we usually have like a prior meeting because they just, it's like a magnet. Um, Deacon Mac and Sister Lisa, they just pulled to me, but it's the Holy Spirit. So um, they go to work and by the time they come back, they, I have to go up to Jordan. I have to, cause what she's saying, this is the truth. Cause they, they have never heard all of these things that I'm telling them, it's the truth. They leave their dinner, they run, come with the dinner in the car. They just can't wait. Cause they can know from the, from the spirit that this is real what she's telling me. So we usually have prayer meeting every night, blasting in tongues every night. I've experienced things that I've never experienced when I went down there because the Holy Spirit was preparing me and I had so much stuff on the inside of me. But because we met, 
No, everything just came out. So I remember I have some cousins there, a lot of cousins. They're not saved. No, nobody, they're not saved. They're all in darkness. So I remember myself, Miss Elisa and Deacon Mac, we planned that we are going to have all of these cousins and uncles and everyone gather in this house before I left. We have to tell them that Jesus is coming soon and they have to repent. So finally, we got almost everybody. That room was full. And I remember after I share it with everyone, I told, I told them because after a while I realized why I saw the true meaning of why I, why I went to Jamaica. I didn't know. I thought I was just going to visit my son. I didn't know. So then after we, we prayed in tongues and we gather and we worship and everything. And then I, I share the gospel with them. And then one of my cousins, she was like a living rock. I could not get through to her. I, I heard came out of my mouth. I told them already, I can't do anything more. I can't do anything more. I already told them and that's it. And I'm like, oh, like I held on to my mouth and I'm like, where did that come came from? Where did that came from? So the Holy Spirit already was prepared me and sent me down there to give them a message, which I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I, I was just obedient because the Spirit of God was working through me. And he caused me to give them the, 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 the message to show them that he is coming back. And that just came out of my mouth and she started to weep. So every time I pray, they always back in my mind. I'm like, Jesus, these people cannot go to hell. I know I have to give them a call one of these days. I'm going to call them. I know I have to give these people a call. But what I'm saying, I think I even lost my, my point that I was trying to make because I said so much, so many different stuff. That is faithful and he's used different ways and means for our family member or friends to hear. So nobody cannot say, I didn't know the truth. I didn't hear because yes. daddy already went ahead and told them. That's all I have to say, family. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thanks Amen. for Thank sharing. You Thank You're you, welcome. Madam. You're welcome. Yes. Yes. Good afternoon, Bill Nation, everybody. Good afternoon. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. I'm so touched, and thank you, everybody, for sharing. What I wanted to say in response to the question is similar to what um, my sister just shared, which is lack of knowledge. And also, I often think to myself that every picture of rapture that is being shown to us today, even through the movies or in pictures, is just, I feel like, is the imagination of man. It's not exactly what is going to happen is just uh, i feel like it's mimicking the real thing so i and sometimes the movies make it look so dramatic in a way that it brings fear like the noise and then i feel that since it is something that god has already ordained for the saints for his children when mm -hmm. it happens those of us who are his children will have peace it will not bring that mm -hmm. fear that we think that is going to bring because it's a fact and it's a thing of love and it's a reunion that i'm imagining yes. like the bridegroom and the mm -hmm. bride so and every time that the wedding is taking place it's always either your heart is panting for excitement to me mm -hmm. i feel like it's going to be it's like so that but because it's just the imagination that is being yes. right now. um it, it doesn't really mimic the real thing and so it brings some kind of emotions like fear tension anxiety but i believe that when that day will come and that moment will come it will just be love and peace and joy and there will be Amen. no feeling of fear because fear is we know already where fear is coming from yes. so that day fear will not be part of that reunion at all so that's what i really think uh -uh. awesome amazing, amazing. so yes. check out the video joy. Mm -hmm. the fear is not yeah. from daddy you heard that yeah. it's the movie that's amplifying the fear or something from the movie that will make you fear but um this is and if not but this is what i i will say get your information from the word the word of god will come with the spirit of god which is the, the spirit of god is the spirit of fear it's a spirit of peace not peace fear joy yeah mm -hmm. peace yeah. joy don't don't be um let the movies are just there to are there to help that's all so if your help goes overboard like i would say google but if google the information you're getting from, from google contradicts the word drop mm -hmm. google yeah. that's right mm, thank you it. daddy 
Thank you, Daddy. Any question? I uh, thank you. Thank you for your contributions. Um, everyone that contributed. I don't want to call him. I hope I don't miss no anybody. So I'll just say thank you, everyone. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Any questions from this teaching? Yes, go ahead. Uh, it's not a question. It's just a, it's like a confirmation. It's a hard word. Yeah, like a confirmation. Mm -hmm. So on Sunday, I, uh, I have this meeting that is at six o'clock. And I uh, log into the meeting. So I exited from here and you were talking about the rapture and prayer. Uh, prayer, a pray, prayer, prayer, and the rapture. So I logged into this meeting and then this pastor was teaching, Pastor Summer, John Summer. He was hammering on prayer, prayer, and then he stopped. He said, we are not waiting for the rapture. The rapture is already here. I'm telling you, brother, the rapture is already, we are already in the rapture. The way he ever, I was like, I need to, I wish I would record this so I can put it back. I almost wanted to come back and see if the relationship is still, was still going on. So I was thinking, I need to, can I record this? Because the way he was hammering it, it was like, mm -hmm. as if I just left from one platform to the next and it was like a continuation he hammered on me he actually scheduled this meeting as an emergency meeting then he has a big announcement to make everybody should log in so i logged in this this that's all he did he did this teaching everybody should be praying it's a time to pray this month people should be praying this april and then he talked about this rapture that as i was waiting for the announcement really that's what the announcement was you know, uh, so I just wanted uh, to mention that it's, uh, the rapture is already here. We are not waiting. The rapture is here. Forgive, leave, be ready. I mean, be ready. There's no point to hold anybody in your heart. Forgive, let everybody go. If the rapture is here. We are already in the he, Yeah, that, that, so I, I was planning since then to, to mention it. But since the rapture discussion is continuing, I just felt that I should bring it up and Mm -hmm. and, and Amen. the confirmation mm -hmm. yeah let's pray Amen. 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 What did your spirit man to respond to all that we have taught? That's why I gave it the minutes to pray. Um Sister Alimati, your hand was up, sweetheart. Was it a mistake or you wanted to say something? I don't want people um never leave this prayer meeting with questions or contributions. Uh, um, don't assume. Always do your part. Go ahead, Mama. My my hand was up for the um, for my sister's um the revelation for me to share. Sorry for the scripture. Sorry, my <laughs> confused. Sorry, my hand was up for the because you asked me for the scripture, so I was, my hand was up for that. Okay, you want to share? Huh? Mm -hmm. I thought you already shared, or you want to share? No, my hand was up for that. 
So before? Before, yes. Okay, maybe your hand mistakenly went up. Now you didn't realize it. Oh, okay. oh you see somebody, <laughs> maybe somebody's hand went up. I didn't see. I thought it was Ali Marco. Somebody's hand went up. No, it's mine. Oh, oh it was yours. Okay. okay. Yeah, I saw a hand went up and down real quick. I was like, <laughs> that looks like my sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Ali Mati's head because she's very cautious. Miss <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peggy, we're listening. Yes, ma. Oh, okay. I was waiting for go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pray, prayers for uh for people to get born again. Mm -hmm. It's it's working like popcorn. I think I it's popping it. up. Amen. The other time I was there when my nephew called me that auntie if you don't if when you get born again and you don't get baptized will you go to hell as a why? And he told me his dream. He had a dream that was rapture and they yeah. left him behind. I said wow. Oh. Yes. I said wow. I said, auntie why are you saying that because I was left behind. I tell you, you don't understand. I've been praying for you people. I've been praying for the whole family. Mm. Mm. I, said, I said, wow. So it's just popping. It's popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. When... Yes. I was talking. I said, wow. It's just all over. And I thank God mm -hmm. for the old nation. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> My God. Take that for my entire family. Thank you, Take that. No, are you praying for them? Yeah, yeah I'm the, praying for them. I'm praying for them. So their their prayer, their their testimony is is for you to know that Daddy has walked already. They will now talk Amen. to you soon. Amen. Amen. So the the prayer point there is to keep praying. Okay. Um if you if you respond wrongly, you will not get the testimony. That's what I was trying to say. Don't take it. You've already prayed. They okay. will not respond to you. Okay. You understand? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, Mama. Yeah, yeah. So the focus, do your part. Ah, this God mm -hmm. is faithful. My, mm -hmm. my, my, he's faithful. Mm -hmm. I've refused to see him in any other land, but through his goodness and his faithfulness. But that's who he is anyway. That's who he is. Yeah, your hand is up. My hand is up now. And I have, I have um, two more people mm -hmm. that um, came to me. My, my immediate um, younger brother. Yes. He he calls prayer in the mocks. <laughs> he calls. He does what? He calls prayer in the mocks, like the morning prayer. He does that, yeah, because mm -hmm. of, because of our dad's tribe, we are Madingo, so Madingo people mm -hmm. are Muslims. Okay. So he calls prayer in the mocks. Then um, my second younger brother, <laughs> that one, he don't go to church, and he he's seen somebody, and they have a child. The child have my name, so I told him to that. We should send money, me and my elder sister send money for 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 our mom and dad to go pay the bride price for the lady so they can be legal in the mm -hmm. real in the sight of God. But the mm -hmm. lady refused. And I've been talking to him, I've been talking to him to stay off, like for him just to, to sit down and read the Bible and concentrate on God and leave fornication. I just mm -hmm. sorry, I want the family to help me pray. His mm -hmm. name is Shaka. I want mm -hmm. the family to help me pray for him to change. I want God, mm -hmm. I want God to use him mightily. Like mm -hmm. he, will, he will even ask himself if if he is Shaka. I just mm -hmm. want God to use him mightily because mm -hmm. he's my he's my worry. As as for the, the my immediate brother, he always sent me the scriptures. So I'm telling him, I said, You're coming. And he's like, Oh, I believe. I said, I know you believe that you're coming. At least he oh, can the, one, the one that did prayer in the most sense of scriptures. The more the, the second one. Oh. That one they go to church at home. 
don't touch no more. He's just there by himself. Mm. So I'm just, uh-huh. I want the family to pray for him. His name mm. is Shaka. Shaka. Father, we lift Shaka before you, Lord. We ask, Father, that you will touch his heart, cause him to come fully, 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 fully Lord, in the name of Jesus. Cause Shaka to come fully to you, my daddy. You are focused, you are doing this, you are doing the will of God for your life. Even as the six sister is standing in the middle of we agree for the family. We say none of them will be able to everybody, Lord, let salvation come to this house. Let salvation come to this house. Oh, yes, I pray for all the others. We ask for the salvation to be able to do it. We ask for salvation to be able to do it. As <laughs> Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Right. Daddy, we thank you for this prayer time. As we depart, we thank you for all that you've done. Strengthen everyone that was part of prayer. Lord, as we go to prepare for 4 p.m. in the next three hours, Lord. Give us rest, give us um, shores, cause our eyes to see. May we have revelation and knowledge. Amen. We refuse to be the ones that are doubting. We choose faith in you and faith in your plans. You are Amen. so faithful, so faithful. And we love you, Lord. Amen. 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 All right, Amen. Let's, let's send the heart. And we'll see, we'll hear your voices. See you at four. Wow. See you later, Bill Nation. See you later, Mr. Claudine. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later.